This video is part of a series of videos focusing on the character relationship moments on screen between Yaz and the 13th Doctor. If you'd like to start at the beginning, click the link in the corner. Otherwise, welcome to the next video. In episodes 3, 4, and 5 of season 12, we see a pretty standard story structure formula of the Doctor and companions going on an adventure. As such, there are not many relationship moments between Yaz and the Doctor. Even in episode 5, Fugitive of the Jadoon, which is one of my favorite 13th Doctor episodes, and the one that I have rewatched more than any other episode, there's just not much to discuss regarding the topic of this video series, namely, the relationship between Yaz and the Doctor. Yaz tries to start an argument with the Doctor at the start of Episode 3, Orphan 55. Yaz is well aware of changes in the Doctor's behavior since Spyfall. Can I get you out of your mardy mood? My mood's fine. That's you, Todd. This is 100% a relationship spat. Yaz complains indirectly about the doctor's behavior. The doctor denies it. Ryan even gets the comedic relationship quip to wrap it up in a bow for the audience. Let's look at it again. Can I get you out of your mardy mood? My mood's fine. That's you, Todd. Later, Yaz and the Doctor independently discover the same thing about the protective dome, that this is not a real vacation destination. Am I gonna struggle with something? It's a fake vacation. A what? A really good one. What? So none of this is real? Doctor, you need to see this. They've built a wall all around this hotel. Fuma said it's the first off-world fake vacation. That's a sign that they are starting to share the same brain. Yaz is also becoming super quick to pick up on the big picture. Made in China? Hey, how did this get here? He never left. Orphan 55, it's Earth. Your future. If this is Earth, the water drinks. The rose mutated. Yes, the few that didn't die. How did Earth end up like this? Good warnings from every scientist alive. Global warming, huh? the food chain collapses, mass migration, and war. Yes, is proving her worth more and more. Yes, is back in the field on her own in Nikola Tesla's Night of Terror. What is that? Power waiting to be harnessed. It's pulsing like a siren or radar. Radar? Using energy waves to work out what's around you. I've been working on a similar theory myself. I, I call it my exploring ray. It's, it's like it's uh, sensing its surroundings. Which makes me wonder, what is it looking for? The Doctor, Ryan, and Graham are off investigating Edison while Yaz stays with Tesla. While trying to keep him safe, they both are teleported to a cloaked alien ship parked above New York. Maybe teleports are no longer traumatic for Yaz, this one not being a gateway to another world or dimension. Or maybe Yaz just doesn't have time to process what is happening because she is more intent on saving Tesla. She's also not as far afield as she was in Spyfall, and she knows the Doctor knows where she is and what she is doing. When the Doctor does find Yaz, we have a subtle but definitive act of protection in both words and actions. <laughs> It's not important. I'm gonna have to disagree with that. Oh, nice place you've got here. You guys all right? Better now you're here. I'm the doctor. I don't believe we've met. As one of our subscribers mentioned in the previous video, 13's first action is to check in on Yaz, then immediately put herself in between Yaz and the threat. Yes, it's subtle compared to some of the other moments, but definitely a sign of 13's fondness for Yaz. Fugitive of the Jadoon begins with another relationship confrontation by Yaz. What are you looking for? Not looking for anything. Don't lie to us. Yaz starts pointing out moments when the Doctor is withholding information from her. She'll do this more in Season 13. So we will take over from here. Mission must be fulfilled by the contracted troop. Jadoon Engagement Article 163B. That article is overridden by local Earth law. 
12. Isn't that correct? Liaison Officer Khan. Yaz gets a moment to shine as her leadership potential grows. Isn't that correct? Liaison Officer Khan. Absolutely correct, 100%. Rule 12. Massive. Imperial regulation. So you will give us the time to go in there and arbitrate. That weapon will not need to be used. She jumps in and feeds off the doctor's improvisation while managing the trigger-happy Jadoon police. Found this in the bedroom, hollow compartment at the back of the wardrobe. And that is not from Earth. So where's it from? I'm a police officer. I speak their language a bit of stalling by time to get them away. Then we can come inside with them and be by your side. I don't need you to be here. You obviously do because there's a cannon about to fire at your flat. Yaz is exerting her strength, especially as a police officer on Earth. After that, the formula for this episode requires removing the three companions from the situation so that the Doctor can find out more about her past on her own and lay the foundation for the Doctor to have reason to withhold some of those new secrets from Yaz. I'll see you next time as we continue to parse out relationship moments between Yaz and the 13th Doctor in the following episodes. Click the link in the corner for the next video or find links in the description to all parts of the series.